Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you, the restoration of a 1980 Jeep CJ7 Renegade. The model kit is from Revell, number 6209, in 125th scale. I do not have the box of the kit, but this build came with the instructions manual, and as we can see, this is a very simple kit, as it is a snap kit, with low parts count. When opening the kit, I can see that nothing has been painted, apart from the front and rear lights, and the decals were placed directly on the plastic of the body. There are some loose parts in a bag, like the engine top, also not painted, as well as the spare tire, the radiator, and other parts. Checking the body, I can see that the windshield screen is broken on the top side and the clear part is missing. I compared the build that I received with the manual and there are some missing parts. But it is what it is and I will use what I have. So, let me show you my restoration process. After disassembling all the parts that I could, I washed them to clean the dust. Then, as the engine top was not painted, I painted it aluminum, leaving the molded spark plug wires black, and the fan also black. I also painted some other details, like in the battery, the brake master cylinder painted gold, the air cleaner painted chrome, the liquid tank painted white with cap black, and the exhaust manifolds painted silver. The radiator was painted flat black with the grill silver and washed with Tamiya panel line accent color black. The kit didn't have a radiator hose, so I made one. Before install the engine, I weathered the engine bay a little bit with soot and rust compounds from the Tamiya Weathering Master B. Then I inserted the engine and installed the radiator hose. For the wheels, I painted the rims chrome, and in the tires, I painted the letters on the walls with white. Then with the Tamiya panel line accent color black, I washed these letters to give them a darker white look. Finally, I clear coated them with a matte varnish, and the tires track were weathered a little bit with soot and rust compounds from the Tamiya Weathering Master B to give them a more real and used look. The front winch was painted magnesium with the coiled cable area silver and washed with the Tamiya panel line accent color black. Originally, the kit had two fog lights on top of the winch, but since one of them is missing, I cut the one I had and glued it to the center of the bracket, and from my box of decals, I picked up the license plate. Underside, I painted flat black the chassis frame, the suspension leaf springs, as well as the front and rear axles. Then, I dry brushed all, with silver, to give them a used look. The engine block bottom was painted aluminum, with the transmission silver, and the front and rear drive shafts painted magnesium. The exhaust system was also painted silver, and the gas tank was painted aluminum. Finally, all the underside was weathered with soot and rust compounds, from the Tamiya Weathering Master B. As I said earlier, the windshield screen was broken on the top side, and the clear part was missing. So, I glued the windshield screen, then I painted black the trim and the windshield wipers and made the front window with a piece of clear plastic. One of the side mirrors was missing and the other was broken. 
Therefore, I used the one I have for the driver's side, and for the passenger side I scratch build an antenna. On the dashboard, the central panel was painted black, with the gauges and other details silver. The dashboard top cover was painted semi-gloss black, with the Jeep label in silver. The steering wheel was painted flat black, with the spokes painted silver. Also, on each of the spokes, I drilled the three holes, to give them a more realistic look. For the interior, the seats were painted semi-gloss black, with the locks of the seatbelts painted silver. And the levers detail painted, with flat black and silver, with the knobs brown, instead of all black as before. To add a nice touch to the interior, the medicine suitcase that was previously black and hidden behind the driver's seat was painted white and placed on top of the rear fender. Additionally, I made a yellow rolled blanket with masking tape and placed it on top of the other rear fender. I detailed the cover by painting it flat black and painting silver the trims around the back and side windows, as well as the pin locks. For the body, I decided to keep the decals and painted with the Tamiya Pearl Clear TS65. First, I tried to repair the damage in the hood decal the best I could. It came out quite okay, but unfortunately, I had some issues with some areas of the decals, mainly on the edges that wrinkled after the first coat with the Tamiya Pearl Clear. I tried to recover those areas by using some setting solution for decals. It became better, but not perfect. Anyway, I can live with this problem, as seen from a distance it's not that bad. For the grille near the windshield, I also used the Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight it. On the backside, I repainted the taillights with clear orange and clear red, and the trailer support, as well as the gas cap, were painted silver and washed with Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight the details. I drilled the hole of the exhaust tip and painted the interior flat black to give it a realistic look and glued a new license plate as well as the spare tire on their respective locations. I repainted gloss black the fender flares and painted the side markers clear orange at the front and clear red at the back. Finally, this restoration is finished, so let's see it. Just to remember, this was the initial status of this model kit before the work I just showed for the restoration process. So now, let's turn the page and see the final result for the new life of this model kit. Comparing the kit that I received with the manual, there are some missing parts like the doors, the two gas cans that should be placed on the rear on each side of the spare tire, and the roll bar for the interior. But it is what it is, and I'm very happy how it turned out, even if some areas of the preserved decals wrinkled after the first coat with the Tamiya Pearl Clear. But as I said, as seen from a distance it's not that bad, and the kit will look nice in my display shelf. It is also possible to display the kit without the cover top, and I think the interior received a nice touch, with the white suitcase and the yellow blanket. I hope you like it too, and if you want, tell me about your opinion on the comments down below. For a more detailed view of this restored kit, I have some static pictures at the end, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with any question or feedback. See you in the next video.